गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंडिविजुअल डिटेक्शन मेथड एंड इन दिस वीडियो पर्टिकुलर दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सिंगल मार्कर एनालिसिस सो प्लीज वॉच फर्स्ट पार्ट वेयर वी आई डिस्कस अबाउट वाई दीज ऑल मेथड्स आर नेसेसरी सो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज विकास मंगल साइंटिस्ट जेनेटिक्स एंड प्लान बिल्डिंग क्रिज जेफ बैरकपोर्ट here i will discuss about many important things like the advantages part disadvantages part even the why this single marker analysis approach is necessary and what is the advantage and disadvantage of this single marker analysis so this is single marker analysis so friends this name indicate the single marker means we are using only the one marker at a time to detect the qtl or the genomic region which is responsible for the variation in the phenotypic trait so friends to perform this single marker analysis the breeder must first develop a population that is segregating for the trait of interest segregating population means either breeder can use the f2 population the breeder can use this uh, the backcross population backcross crossing mapping population because these all are the segregating mapping population so first we plant breeder have to develop any breeding uh, segregating population of depending upon the objective of the plant breeder so for all qtl mapping method simple qtl mapping approach the segregating population is very needed and one marker is involved at a time to find the qtl marker association ultimately what we are identifying we are identifying with the help of marker we are, we want to identify the location of the qtl with the help of marker we want to identify the what is the percentage of phenotypic variation given by this qtl our aim is this that's why this is single marker analysis sma can be implemented as so we can use implement sma in the form of either t test either anova linear regression and uh, likelihood ratio test and maximum likelihood method i will discuss in these points and also and the most important thing regarding the single marker analysis that the gene order and the complete linkage map is not required in case of single marker analysis you don't need any linkage map you don't need any gene order for performing this single marker analysis and the experimental population used for qtl mapping in most plant species classified as the backcross or f2 type population i already discussed ki uh, to perform sma breeder must first develop a population that is segregating so this backcross population and this f2 population the segregating populations and how i we will say ki this qtl is located or not if it should be significantly the trait should be significantly different among the marker genotype then we can say it is located near a marker so this is also most important this this point is all the uh, eligible for all the qtl detection methods so the qtl is determined to be located near a marker if phenotypic value for the trait are significantly different among the marker genotype so these all points are important friends i have collected these point on different books and different research papers so please note down all the points and the, now i discussed ki sma can be implemented in the form of t test anova linear regression so here we will use t test when we will use this anova so first this is the actually the single marker analysis where we are using the one marker so one marker have two genotypic value uh, two alleles like capital m small m like qtl so if your marker genotype like you can see here if your marker genotype has only two classes two classes then we will use t test okay like this okay when the number of marker classes is more than 2 then data can be subjected to one way analysis which amount to linear regression and regression analysis friends the regression analysis is the most frequently used used because the estimate of r square the coefficient of determination this is the coefficient of determination provided an estimate of the qtl effect size means ki what is the percentage of phenotypic variation uh, given uh, depicted by this qtl so that's why this regression analysis is important because here we are estimating this r square the coefficient of determination which is the most important concept so when we are developing the population for qtl analysis two things the population structure and size as well as the number and type of molecular marker these are must be considered okay so when if i talk about the population structure two types of population are present the valence structure population and the unvalence structure so suppose you are analyzing the population in sma with valence structure like simple backcross f2 or ril population then analysis can be easily performed using genetic software such as qtl cartographer and this analysis are parametric okay 
when you are analyzing population with unbalanced structure like invert backwards population like bc2 s5 this population this is called the unbalanced structure then non parametric statics we will use such as the kruskal wallis statics these are important point please note down these points and second point population size depth it, this is a universal point ki if your qtl so very small effect so for detecting this qtl you need the large number of individuals this is eligible for all the matters the smaller the effect of the qtl the larger the number of individuals required to detect this is the most important point friends and the chance of detection of qtl depend mainly on the two factor for the magnitude of the effect size of qtl if your qtl showing very major effect have large effect then you need only the small number of individual in a population if your qtl is showing very uh, small effect then for detecting this qtl you need large number of populations and the next the recombination rate between the qtl and the marker loci ki in between this marker and this qtl suppose this recombination is occur then this marker will separate from this qtl so it will give very spurious result so the recombination rate is is also more important and computer software you can use for single marker analysis for this you can use a qgene you can use the map manager qtx okay now coming to the uh, in this video i will not discuss about the mathematical part even i don't know more about the mathematical part i will discuss the sm advantage and disadvantage also so this is the collard paper if you will write collard uh, it l 2005 then you will get a very wonderful paper which is very important paper for qtl mapping qtl mapping methods marker mapping population etg so advantage it is the simplest method of qtl dissection because you are using simply t test and over regression analysis analysis can be performed using basic statistical software because there is no such type of any qtl into qtl interaction is here qtl into environment interaction here so analysis can be performed using basic statistical software and analysis does not require a complete linkage map this is also important and disadvantage the qtl effect may be underestimated due to the recombination between the marker and the qtl suppose if any recombination occur then sma may be failed it will give very spurious result okay and this method cannot determine whether one or more qtl associated with a marker okay because we are using the one marker at a time for detecting one qtl so this method cannot determine whether one or more qtl are associated with marker and this analysis does not provide an estimation of the recombination rate right? this is also important from between the qtl and the marker so as a result of which the position of qtl in the genome remains unknown so this is the disadvantage of part of sma you can see these are the some basic point regarding sma you need uh, this t-test and over linear regression gene order complete linkage may be not required you need segregating populations okay uh, t-test apply when marker genotype has two classes no by applied for marker genotype have three uh, more than two classes regression analysis most important because here you are using uh, calculating r square coefficient of determination okay so two things are important population structure and population size so you have balanced structure population or balanced structure population for detecting uh, the small qtl you need the large number of individuals okay and chance of detection of qtl depend on the magnitude or recombination rate you use these to software for detecting implementing this sma this is the advantages part of single marker analysis this is the disadvantage part of S sma so for solving this sma we have another technique like simple interval mapping i will discuss in the another video here we are using only one marker so, uh, but in case of simple interval mapping we will use the flanking marker so we will discuss the simple interval mapping SIM in the end of the video so thank you all of you for watching this video